Bear is quite sure that he already has all the books he will ever need and can see no reason to go to the library for more. Yet his friend Mouse thinks otherwise. When Bear reluctantly agrees to go with Mouse to the big library, neither rocket ships nor wooden canoes are enough for Bear's picky taste. Will Mouse ever find the perfect book for Bear? Well, let's find out when we read A Library Book for Bear, written by Bonnie Becker, illustrated by Katie McDonald Denton. Bear had never been to the library. He had seven very nice books at home, three about kings and queens, three about honeybees, and one about pickles. Bear was quite sure he had all the books he would ever need. One morning, Bear heard a tap, tap, tapping on his door. When he opened the door, there was Mouse, small and gray and bright-eyed. We are off, exclaimed Mouse with a happy wag of his whiskers. Bear frowned. He had agreed to go with Mouse to the library, but now he was quite sure it was a dreadful mistake. Completely unnecessary, Bear announced. I have all the books I need right here. Oh, there are many delightful books in the library, Mouse assured him. Hmm, Bear grumbled, but he had promised. So he buckled up his red roller skates and stepped outside, grabbing a basket for the books. Bear skated and Mouse rode in the basket to the library, the wind rippling nicely through their fur. But when they got to the library, Bear didn't like how big it looked. There are far too many books in there, he protested. Most excessive. Oh no, it's quite exciting, Mouse said, leading Bear through the tall doors. In the library were more books than Bear had ever thought there could be. He quickly found a tucked away corner, but even here there were lots and lots of books. Hmm, <laughs> terribly extravagant. Bear's voice was a little loud. I shall find you the perfect one, Mouse said quietly in his library voice. One about pickles, commanded Bear. After all, he only had one of those. But Mouse whisked away. Mouse came back with a thick green book. Bear opened it. Rocket ships? Ridiculous! Bear's voice was getting louder. A good book about pickles is all that I require. Remember, quiet in the library, murmured Mouse as he scurried off. He soon returned with a tall yellow book. I am not interested in wooden canoes. Bear's voice was even louder. Quiet voices in the library, Mouse reminded him. My voice is always quiet, Bear shouted. I will find my own book. I can assure you that pickles are quite interesting. Mouse didn't look so sure, but Bear quickly spotted a blue book with a pickle on the spine, 
and Mouse sprang up to the shelf to get it for him. Inside were pictures of pickles. The pickles had little fairy wings. They were dancing with petunias. No dancing pickles! Bear roared. Shh! Bear peeked around a bookshelf. There sat a librarian with a cluster of youngsters gathered around her. The librarian smiled, but a mother squirrel squished an angry finger against her lips, and an old raccoon said sternly, Quiet in the library. Bear turned back with a huffy sniff. I know when I'm not wanted, he told Mouse. I want to go home. Surely at least one book, Mouse began, but Bear cut him off. I have all the books I need. He looked quite certain. Then we are off, said Mouse, but his whiskers didn't wag this time. Bear stood stock still. He was listening carefully to a voice on the other side of the bookshelf. So the very brave bear began to inch his way toward the treasure chest, the voice was saying. I'm ready, Mouse began. Shh, exclaimed Bear. It's just getting to the good part. But you said... Quiet voices in the library! Bear bellowed. This time the librarian got up and looked around the bookshelf at Bear. Bear stood very still and quiet, as if he had been still and quiet all along. Would you like to join story time? The librarian asked. Bear glanced at Mouse. We'd love to have you, said the librarian. Bear and Mouse scooted around the shelf and found two empty chairs. The librarian began to read again. Bear lifted the lid to the treasure chest and inside, the librarian paused. Mouse and Bear strained forward. Inside, she said, was a mound of pickle slices and each shining slice was made of diamonds and gold and everyone shouted, Hooray for the very brave bear. And then she said, The end. Bear stared dreamily into space for a moment. Then he looked over at Mouse and announced, As I said, pickles are most interesting. Indeed, said Mouse. Later, Mouse rode in the basket with seven new books. There were two about wooden canoes, two about rocket ships, two about teapots, and one called The Very Brave Bear and the Treasure of Pickle Island, which Bear read to Mouse that very same day. Hello friends, if you go to my YouTube channel, Storytime with Lorelei, you will find a link to a Google Doc with all of my other books listed by name and genre. Please subscribe and don't forget to share my channel with all of your friends. Bye for now.